How you doing, everybody? Uh, this is Thor Washington. This is the All Washington Rant Series, The Law of Love. Uh, what, what I want to do today is that I want to finish up talking about the, the rules of engagement. There are some things that I kind of left out and stuff, you know what I'm saying, because of time restraint issues. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into uh, these last couple of things that I want to uh, talk about. Uh, first of all, let me uh, just reiterate once again about what, what is the one law of love again and stuff on um, so we can uh, grasp this understanding. The law of love is this. It's a system of rules that are, that are enforced through varieties of different feelings, state, and attitudes within a social institution that governs the behaviors. Once again, the law of love is the system of rules that are enforced through a variety of different feelings, state, and attitudes within a social institution that governs the behaviors. Now, I want to uh, touch bases real, real strongly first about about this um, social institution. Now, now when I'm using the, the term social institution, but what I'm talking about is this: is that it's it's basically. Um, a type of uh, relationship or a union. It could be a relationship, it could be a union, depending on the type of relationship. If it's like a, a friendship based relationship, then it'd be, you know, just a regular relationship, you know what I'm saying? But if it's more of an intimate relationship between like a man and a woman or, you know, wherever, um, however the, your lifestyle is and stuff, right, then it'd be more of a union relationship, you know? Um, so within the social institution, uh, as I was um, stating throughout my other rants, is that there there are certain uh, we we set certain parameters or certain laws where within this um, social institution, which what what we call a relationship. You know, um, we um, we first of well, let me say this. First of all, we already been been pro programmed to already proje project our ideal um, law. Into our into our mind, into our um, consciousness about what what type of person we want to what what type of person we would like to talk to, a type of person that we will like to date, uh, what type of person we want to consider as friends, and you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and a lot of this um, programming is just like how you know I've been reiterating through different. Uh, Network areas, but the but the typical network areas doing media and stuff. Um, we living in the technology age, and media plays a high influence. Whether if you want to believe it or not, um, and the media starts from you know when they built the first television. Um, actually, back further than that, when they um, built the first radio, um, then the television. There, then we went from. Um, Television to the internet, you know, then from the internet, then that's when we start developing social networks and, you know, everything else, you know, that's falling to place, you know. So these different things do have played a huge role into our society, uh, not just American culture, but cultures, period, you know, uh, who, who have uh, access to these different avenues, you know. So these these social institution um is it does basically consist of uh, either a relationship or or a union you know depending on what it is you know what I'm saying and these once again these institutions are are set within our minds of a certain standard in other words uh, the relationship now you probably be now you probably wondering and ask like well is it wrong for me to um have a type of standard or person who I want to talk to? And is that considered wrong? Is that considered law or is that a bad thing? My answer to that is no, it's not a bad thing, you know. It ain't nothing wrong with with having a a set type of standard or specific person that you want to talk to, you know. Uh everybody have their different preference and they different different uh tastes and then, you know and and who they want to talk to. Like, for example, me personally, uh, I, I have a, a specific preference that uh, that I want to mind, you know, talk to for as a, a woman, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, for example, my, my particular preference, you know, I prefer a woman who's... Um, um, Who's actually consciously awakened, um, and what, what I mean by that is that uh, she's she's um, physically, mentally, and spiritually aware of who she is. And this is not talking about just like um, cultures, like you know African cultures and stuff, because I know it's different. Um, 
uh, doctrines and stuff out there that's teaching you to be, you know, awakened um, through your, your, your roots, through your African roots. And I'm not referring to that sort of level and stuff. The level I'm talking about goes way beyond that, even though I didn't study all that type of one level. And there's nothing wrong with it. If you if you study that, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Because it's giving you a step further of you want understanding who you are, you know. So um the like say I not prefer her to, you know, just know who she who she is, you know. And um and also I prefer that uh that she uh, actually I'm not prefer that that she actually um uh, you know, look, you know, beautiful to me and stuff. And beauty uh, within me is, uh, you know, it's uh, different, you know, for me. Uh, you know, it, um, she, she could have, you know, caramel skin. You know, she could be um, average built, you know. Um, and I do um, talk to women who are, um, you know, bigger plus size built too and stuff. But it does all, you know, depends on uh, the, the type of feel or type of connection I have with this um, particular person, you know what I mean, or this particular woman, um, you know, there's different stuff like that, you know, but anyway, back to the top of the hand, um, so that, that's, that's talking about the, the, the social institution that, that we established in our mind, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, well, one other thing I want to um, also touch basics on, too, is this, is that uh, I was um, saying in the last part, of the um, rules of the engagement, and I was saying that the one um, final part is the final interview and stuff, and I want to just go into that a little deeper too. Uh, and I was telling you that um, many corporate companies, what they do, they um, they they let you go through three levels of interviews and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then the final interview is when when um, you you be interviewed with a big group of um, people who's part of the company. It'd normally, be the supervisors, it'd be the managers, you know, even some of the owners be attending this interview and stuff. And they ask you final questions to get the final thought or final feel and feel if you're a candidate of their uh, company. Then if you do, uh, they'll hand you um, they'll hand you an offer letter, and within the offer letter, they give you um, your your um, your, your salary requirements, um, it will give you your, your um, duties and all this stuff there and the like. And likewise, in the relationship, it's the same exact way. When you go through the final interview process, um, you're doing, doing the same exact thing. Uh, you um, uh, you get the final, when you're on this date, you get a final interview. Uh, you, you ask these, this um, person a series of different final questions so you can get a final thought or final feel for this person. You know what I'm saying? Then finally, after that, uh, you end up um, having an offer letter. But this offer letter is not a, a physical document. The offer letter in, a, in dating in a relationship uh, normally ends with, with, with one of these two things or both. It either ends with um, you hugging the person at the end of the date or you probably hug and kiss the person. But, but the, the kiss depends on if you really, really feeling the person. Now, if you're really feeling them, then you'll seal it with a kiss and stuff traditionally. You know what I'm saying? Hug and seal it with a kiss and stuff. But also, you know, keep in mind that we're in a, a different age and a different generation and stuff. So normally, you know, when you hug and seal it with a kiss and stuff, uh, some some people, you know, uh, like I said in the last rant, they, they uh, offer a nightcap. And now... A nightcap is uh if you don't if you don't know what what nightcap is a, a nightcap is um basically a uh, basically is uh when the person uh, goes uh you know it spends a night over person over a person's house and stuff right so um well when they go and spend night over a person's house they they basically does um yeah they they basically does you know what I'm saying does uh offering um yeah yeah they they basically does you know you know, offering to um, stay overnight over a person's house and stuff, you know. So, it can uh, end in two ways. It can end where, you know, you just literally just sleeping over the, over at the person's house. Or it can end in, a, in another way, you know what I'm saying, where it end, end up requiring, you know, sexual intercourse, stuff like that. You know, it just depends on the type of date that it is, you know. So, um... Sorry about that, y'all. But 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 anyway, and stuff. Um, that that's that's the turn. So the um the the final seal of of the date and stuff too. You know. So got a lot of distraction, y'all. But but um, 
Anyway, so so that 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 ends the the final final one sealed or the, the rules of engagement of that particular thing and stuff. Then from there, it, it progressed into another level of stuff, which I will share in the, the next rant about that later. Um. So so that that is it. That is my time. Um. Once again, fight faith with faith, and I will rent with y'all again. And remember, I'm praying with y'all. Peace.